What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mr. Card Collector coming at you guys today with a Blazing Vortex Booster Box opening. Okay, that's right. We're going to be opening not one, not two, not even three, but four of these booster boxes. And we are also going to be opening up three of these legendary booster packs that I got at Target. Okay, so there's actually a Dark Crisis and there's a Metal Raider pack. If I can get this, there it is, Metal Raiders. Okay, for those of you that played the game Yu-Gi-Oh! as long as I have, everybody knows that Metal Raiders and Legend of Blue Eyes are one of the two best booster packs ever just because they came out in the beginning. But wait till the end because I'm going to be opening up these three, total of six booster packs. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and dive in. And I got my key right here to open up this, this booster box. Um, a lot of the cards that people want to get from this set is either the Armed Dragon Thunder cards or the Pot, the new Pot card, the Secret Rare. Uh, but I'm actually looking for the Starlight cards. So either a Starlight Trishula or a Starlight Pot of Prosperity. Um, I'll be happy if I can go ahead and pull just one of those. So this is it, Blazing Vortex, the newest set, Yu-Gi-Oh, yo! We're gonna go ahead and open this up, guys. I'm so excited because Yu-Gi-Oh is one of my favorite card games. I like Pokemon too, but there's nothing like du 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 duel against your opponent. So we got the box right there. We're gonna go ahead and just start opening up these, these uh, booster packs. So here we go, guys. The new archetype, War. Rock. We got S4, Professor, Fabled. I'm gonna butcher some of these names because I'm not too good at uh, pronouncing them, but this is the one of the Metal Foes card. Some of you guys are waiting for that Metal Foe guy to come off the balance. And then uh, Para Metal Foes Azort Less as our super rare. So we're just gonna go ahead and put them down there. And then I'm not really gonna go through explaining a lot of these cards because I know there's people that have already done a lot of openings. So we're just curious to see what we're gonna pull. Like I said, stay tuned towards the end of the video because I will be opening up those legendary booster packs. And so let's see what we got now. So we got the this guy, trap card. Ooh, this one looks nice. Hyper Metal Foe. Hyper Metal Foe, okay. Then we got the Pendulum Encore. And then look, another super rare. Constellar Caduceus. I believe that's how that's pronounced. We got this guy, Tilted Try, Dream Mirror Recap, and then the Tri Brigade. Okay, so that's booster number two. Um, I've been playing this game for a really long time. I quit about five years ago, but I recently just got back into it. So here we go again. Just gonna go ahead and show you guys. And then there's our next super rare. If you look right there, okay. I'm gonna put him right there. And then another Tilted Try, Dream Mirror, Tri Brigade, and then bam, we got these. Um, so, five years ago, maybe even almost six years ago, I last, so the last time I played was actually before the blue cards got introduced into the game. And I'm not talking about the rituals, I'm actually talking about uh, the Link Monsters. Oh my goodness, oh my. This is booster pack number four. We already pulled our very first secret rare pot of prosperity. Oh my God. This actually went up in price. Last time I checked it was 90 bucks, but I checked it today, today. And they are going from anywhere from $110 to $125 a piece. That is just incredible. <laughs> I can't believe I pulled it. That is pot of prosperity. And for those of you guys that don't know what it does, is you can banish anywhere from three to six cards from the top of your deck. And you look at the six cards, the next six cards from the top of your deck, and you choose one of them. That is just broken. By the way, I actually got these uh, little sleeves right here. I really like them because they go with my mat. Uh, these uh, Dark Magician Girl with on top of that dragon. I don't know the name, so if you guys can help me out. We're just gonna go ahead and put our very first pot of prosperity. Gotta make sure we take care of it. And then let me just show you guys once more. Look at that, incredible. What's your favorite pot card? What is your 
favorite pot card. Uh, besides Pot of Greed, obviously Pot of Greed is just a broken card. You automatically plus one. But that's our first pot card. Oh my goodness, this is incredible, guys. Like, first booster box, we got four of these, okay? And then real quick, just to remind you guys, we will be opening up four of these, actually three of these, Metal Raiders and Dark Crisis Legendary Packs. They all come with the promo, so... We're gonna go ahead and see what we pull from there. Hopefully we can go ahead. And there you go. Our Ultra Rare is actually an Arm Dragon level 10. Like I said earlier, there's a lot of those Arm Dragon uh, Thunder guys in here, but that is gonna be our Ultra. Look at the artwork on this card. That is just incredible. And yes, I will be sleeving him up real soon. And those are gonna be your comments. So, that's what we pulled so far. Let me just go ahead and sleeve up this bad boy. Wow, what a box, what a box. Can we pull another really good secret rare? There's a secret rare in here, I don't really know the name of it, but I know it's a hand trap. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what it does. So there you go, your common cards. And then for our super, we got Tri Brigade Kit. And there we go. This is the that new Axe of Despair, if you guys remember the old one. I like the old one. Gain a thousand attack. That was good back in the day. Um, so another reason why I'm excited about opening up the legendary packs is because Metal Raiders was actually my first booster that I ever opened up. And then the first card that I ever pulled, it was not a holo, Win Witch Chimes. It was not a holo, it was actually a rare, if you guys remember, uh, Sword and Shield. That's what the rare card is. Swap the defense with the attack and the attack with the defense. I believe it was Joey Wheeler in the cartoon who used that card. Sword and Shield. Or maybe it might have been somebody else. I, it's, it's just been a long time. So here we go. And then we got Fabled and Wraith. Or oh, and look at those. Dang, that's some nice artwork. We got the comments. What's up with these new Axe of Despairs? This is a lot. So here we go. We're barely diving into half of the box. Uh, some people who had posted videos on this booster park said that they were the, the, the packs were like not necessarily rigged but that they were stacked so maybe that's why we pulled the secret right off the bat there's that war rock Gactos and then we got the rest of these commons right here again that's four booster packs with that new axe of despair um, so yeah like I mentioned earlier comment below what your favorite pot card is uh, I'm a very big fan of Pot of Avarice, and I also really like the, there's Metaphors Vanisher, Pot of Duality. Um, believe it or not, the very first time, actually the second time, well the very first time I actually won a Locals Tournament, I had three Pot of Dualities in my deck. Uh, very old school deck, it's kind of like an anti-meta deck, if you guys remember Grave Keepers. I used to play Grave Keepers when, um... Ooh, look at that ultra right there. That's, uh, how do you say that? Cordius the Trifast. I'm not even gonna butcher that name, but that's what he looks like right there. He looks pretty cool. I will be putting him in a sleeve and an Ojama pink, a new Ojama. I don't think I've ever seen that Ojama before. So we're gonna go ahead and just sleeve this guy up. Again, like I said, I'm really just going fast through most of these cards because I'm pretty sure by now, you guys already know most of these cards. Um, I'm just curious to see what I'm gonna pull. So you got your comments, comment, comment. And then this is a Sacred Tree Beast Hyper Return. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put them up there. And then another Ojama Pink. Uh, quick question. I just seen the ban list not too long ago, so I wanted to get your guys' opinion on what you guys think the ban list has done to the game. Um, what do you guys think about um, a Firewall Dragon and it's Errata. So we got the Mahavelo old school card right there. You know, do you, what, do you, what do you guys think is gonna be the top deck? Do you think it's gonna be, you know, there's gonna be several, several decks fighting for the top spot. Is it gonna be just one deck that, that that's gonna like, well, I can't even say that it's gonna top because there's no regionals, there's no YCSs. And then we got Dragoonity Knight. 
And then we got all these other cards right here. I'm so excited, guys. Like, I cannot believe my very first box. We actually pulled our very first Pot of Prosperity Secret Rare. That is just incredible. Like, <laughs> you guys have no idea how happy I am. I actually picked up a whole case, Psychic Eraser Laser. I picked up a whole case, um, so I will be opening up some of these Blazing Vortex boxes later on. Uh, just today, I'm only gonna do four. And like I mentioned earlier, stay tuned for the end of the video for I will be opening up those Metal Raiders and Dark Crisis. So here we go. And this is our second secret rare, War Rock Mountain. Okay, War Rock Mountain. Apparently that's like for the, uh, like a field spell card for the new War Rock Monsters. So, put those right there and then we'll sleeve up our second secret rare. What do you guys think about this War Rock archetype? Is it is it gonna be able to play at a competitive level? Does it need more support? Uh, would you guys like to see me possibly build a deck on the War Rock monsters in the future? Uh, another archetype that I've never seen before is actually the S Force monsters. I don't know if you is that okay. So this is Live Twin Leela Tree. Live Twin as our third Ultra. That looks pretty cool. I'm gonna put that right there, and then we got our rest of the comments, the Axe of Despair once again. That's gonna be the VIP card because <laughs> of how many times we pulled it. Let me go ahead and just leave this up real quick. Okay, so I believe there's uh, two secret rares in every single box. You never know, we might get lucky. You know, if we believe in the heart of the cards, we might actually pull three secret rares. Um, and there's our Arm Dragon Thunder level 5, the Thunder cards. And then again, with that Axe of Despair. That's like in every booster pack. <laughs> oh, guys, man. How many of you guys are actually a fan of watching the TV show? Like, how many of you guys actually watch the cartoons or the anime? There's nothing like the very first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! When Kaiba gets his butt whooped by humble little Yugi and he summons Exodia and there's our super. And then he just completely beats uh, supposedly the champion or the, the one of the national champions. So that's actually some, a pretty good pull so far, especially with that pot. <laughs> incredible, incredible. I, just, I still can't believe it. So there we go. We got the Giga Thunder. Ooh, and then the Materia Reactor Giga Boros. That card actually looks pretty cool. I will be uh, going through these cards later on just to see, uh, to read their effects, what they do, how can they be used, and then probably look up some combos that I probably don't know of, because like I mentioned earlier, I have not played this game in about six years, but I'm super duper excited uh, to be opening all of these packs for you guys, and then this guy, this, this like, reminds me of one of those cool cards. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty much almost done with our first box. Gonna go ahead and put these right here. Yep, we got two booster packs. Let me just go ahead and, oh no, I'm sorry. We got three booster packs left. Three booster packs. So we we already pulled this guy, but the, the white one, we haven't pulled the secret rare. There's a secret rare arm dragon. So we're gonna see uh, if the Yu-Gi-Oh gods are with us today. I'm pretty sure they are because I pulled that pot. And then there you go, trap card super rare. And then we're just going to go ahead and put these right here. Okay. Is there any cards from this set that you guys would like to see me pull? Uh, besides the Pot of Prosperity. Um, how do you guys like the Starlights? Do comment below like what you guys think about the Starlight Rares. Um, especially the ones that come in this set. Whether it's the Pot or the Hand Trap or even the Trishula. That would be nice to get a Starlight Rare Trishula. Um, ooh, we got the Wind Witch as our Ultra. This one looks nice. Uh, so the best rarity that I've ever had on a on a Trishula was actually an Ultimate Rare, and I actually I was fortunate enough to have a Italian one. Uh, but what's it called? This new Starlight Rare apparently is like the new the new good rarities. I mean, it just depends what you like. People like Ghosts. People like Ultimates. Uh, I'm a huge fan of ultras and secret rares. 
but I will not say no to an ultimate and I will definitely not say no to a ghost. And uh, speaking of ghosts, we actually have that new set coming up. Uh, the ghost from the past or something like that. Okay, so we did open up one box already. Uh, I'm actually thinking about opening up one of these right now. These Metal Raiders Dark Crisis with the bonus card. Why don't we just go ahead and open up one of these right now. Um, I mentioned earlier that Metal Raiders was actually the first booster that I've ever bought. I was in sixth grade. I was so excited to open it up. And uh, we're going to see what our, what our bonus card is. So Omega Summon, I've never seen this card. Target any number of your banished invoke monsters with different names, special summon them in defense position. Wow, that's incredible. And then look, we have Dark Crisis, Metal Raiders. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Dark Crisis first. Okay, I know you can get Exodia Necros in here. Um, I don't really know of any of the other cards, but look at even the the texture. The texture of the card is a little bit different from the new one. So we got okay, we got this guy. Oh, the Guardian cards were in the set. Usakaretsu oh, Armor Classic, <gasps> Mirage Knight. We got a super rare, guys. Mirage Knight. That's incredible. A super rare card from a Dark Crisis booster pack. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep this guy up. Oh, and then we also get a rare. I didn't even know you got a rare as well. Oh, wow. And then we got Thousand Needles, and then... That's pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep this guy up. Mirage Knight. I've honestly never even owned a Mirage Knight, so this is actually pretty cool. Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna go to, and now for the Metal Raider pack. What guys would you guys like to see? What, what would you like to see me pull? A Mirror Force, Gate Guardian, Black Skull Dragon, you name it. Drink Clown, we got a Drink Clown. I would just lose it if I pull a Gate Guardian or a Black Skull Dragon, I swear, or even a guy of the Dragon Champion. So there's Dream Clown, Black Fire Dragon, Empress Judge. Oh my god! We pulled a Solemn Judgment Ultra Rare. That's two for two. We pulled a Super for our Dark Crisis, and now we pulled an Ultra Rare. And may I add, one of the single best trap cards that the game has ever known. Solemn Judgment, pay half your life points, negate anything you want. That's incredible. Oh my god. And then the Great Maw. Shout out to Weevil for the Great Maw. And then look at all these other cards right here. So we got Pale Beast. That is just bonkers. An ultra rare and a super rare. And not just any ultra rare, but Solemn Judgment. Wow. <laughs> the Yu-Gi-Oh gods are definitely with us today, guys. Look at that. Solemn Judgment. Oh my. We should just put these two together. <laughs> wow. Wow. So we're going to go ahead and put these right here. Okay, let me just go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll just put these right here and then put it. That's incredible. What a what a way to start off the first box. Here we're gonna go. We're not gonna waste any time because time is so valuable. So we're just gonna go ahead and dive in into box number two. Um, we already pulled the first pot. Yes, I would like to see another one. However, I would like to pull that hand trap secret rare, and I would also like to pull the link monster. Uh, that's a secret rare, but we're gonna see what the what the Yu-Gi-Oh gods are gonna do for us. Okay, so Blazing Vortex. If you haven't got a box, go get one already. And you know this. You know this time we're gonna go ahead and start off with the left side. We're gonna start off with the left side. So we're gonna go ahead and just put these right there. Okay, so here we go. Box number two. Let's go. Let's get your game on. Okay, so Armor Dragon, Dogmatica. Okay, ooh, uh, Parametalflows, okay, as our super. So we're gonna go ahead and just put that right there. And then we're just gonna go ahead and go through these cards. And then we'll just place them right here. Okay, so, oh my God. Um, I Like I said earlier, I used to play competitive a while back, 
Uh, sometimes I think about getting back into it. There's our Dragoonity Knight for a super. Uh, but comment below if I do get back into the game, what, what, what deck should I pick up? What deck should I build? Um, and I definitely gotta learn how to learn that. I, got, I gotta learn how to play that link mechanic because I really don't know much about it. So we're gonna go ahead and turn these over. And then let's see what we're gonna pull. And then Psychic Eraser Laser. We pulled that earlier from our first box, but that's okay. Ooh, look at this guy. He's biting on somebody's, somebody's head. Put these right here. Blazing Vortex, have you guys have you guys picked up any Blazing Vortex? Do you guys pull anything good? Do you guys pull a pot? There's Thun Armed Dragon Thunder level five again. And then we're just gonna go quick through these. Put these on the side. Okay, here we go. Um, I mentioned earlier that I wanted to get the either a Starlight Rare on the Trishula or the Starlight Rare Pot of Prosperity. Uh, ooh, there's the headshot that I was talking about earlier. So this is Heavenly Zephyr Miradora, secret rare, absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't know exactly what this card does, but I will be reading it like I mentioned earlier. So I'm just going to go ahead and place that right there. And wow, it looks like everything that I'm saying is just it's, it's coming into fruition. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I'm going to box it up, sleeve it up, I should say. And then look at that. That is just bonkers Woo! I'm gonna put you right there for good luck so have any of you guys ever got trished before and have you ever trished your opponents and I'm not talking about the I'm not talking about the the ritual trist I'm talking about the real deal the real Trishula the synchro and what do you guys think about the new Trishula there's our ultra rare war rock Basilios. Bashelios as our ultra rare. What do you guys think about the new Trishula from the new structure deck? Apparently when it leaves the field or when it gets destroyed by your opponent's card effect, you get to summon a special summon a Trishula from the extra deck. You know, imagine if if that counted as a synchro summon and then you can just Trish your opponent during their turn. That would have been crazy. So we got a Springen's Watch and then the rest of the comments. There we go. Just diving right in. Not even wasting any time. Oh, I forgot to put that War Rock guy in his sleeve. I'm about to sleeve him up right now. So here we go. Bam. Knight of the Armor, Fable. And we got the Material Reactor Gigaboros. We pulled that guy earlier. So let me go ahead and sleeve this guy up because he is an ultra rare. Um, I don't really know what the value of these War Rock monsters are right now. But who knows, you know, somebody finds a broken a broken combo with them and then just makes them go up in price. You guys know how Yu-Gi-Oh is. Mmm. Got my little energy drink. Cause it's late at night. But I'll be opening these packs for you guys. So here we go. And bam, let's dive right in. So we got the metal foes, para metal foes, and then we got this uh, Skull King guy again. And then we're just gonna go ahead and skip through the comments. Uh, once we get the hollow, I'm just gonna skip the rest and then open up the next booster pack. So we got this. Let's go, guys. Here we go. Come on. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Ooh, and that's another super rare right there. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and put these away. Okay, so do you guys have a favorite card uh, from Metal Raiders or Dark Crisis? Comment below what your favorite card from Metal Raiders is, okay? And from Dark Crisis. And comment below what you would like to see me pull. So here we go, here we go. Ooh, we got the S-Force. This is the, those new S-Force cards that I was talking about earlier. So, I, I, I think he looks pretty cool. Um, maybe I should make a deck based on S-Force. Put those right there. And then this is it for our last pack on the left side. Uh, we started with the right side with our first booster box, but now we're gonna go ahead and just dive in. And here we go. Ooh, we got a Spring and Ship X Blow X Blower. Okay, so that's that's our Exceed Ultra Rare. 
We're gonna go ahead and put them right there and then just, just we're gonna go ahead and put these comments to the side. You never know when a comment card is gonna be valuable in the future. I remember back then Vanity's Emptiness went from being a quarter to being a $30 common card. That was just crazy. one open that's got to be a good sign okay so here we go bam bam here we go Ooh, constellar we pulled a constellar earlier there's nothing wrong with having doubles okay so here we go i to open this up i will be opening up my other blazing vortex boxes another day uh today's just gonna be four box four boxes so it's the material reactor guy oh my stack is getting big with these common cards on the side so here we go got the war rock s force fable paramedal foes and then we got the tri brigade kit okay uh what do you guys think about the ghost from the past that's going to be coming out and um, i don't know if they released every single card that's going to come out in that set but i'm actually going to pick it up uh i've never really had too many ghost rare cards so it would be nice if I can get maybe like a Dark Magician or a Blue Eyes if they- Ooh, and another Secret Rare War Rock Mountain. Ooh. So just in case I do want to build that War Rock uh, deck, now I have two of the field spell cards, okay? And look at that artwork. Just imagine going out hiking in nature and then you see a rock like this. <laughs> That's how you know Yu-Gi-Oh is real. Oh God, okay, so let's go ahead and just sleeve this up. So that's our second secret rare. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just put that right there. And we're gonna keep diving in because you know what? Here, Mr. Mr. Car Collector does not stop. He just keeps going, okay? Let's see what we got. The Moronic Cat and another Arm Dragon level 10 white. This guy's pretty awesome, look at that. Ooh. Another one, okay, ooh, that's double-double for the Arm Dragon level 10. About to sleeve up this bad boy. Here we go, okay, so that's, that's three Ultras, two Secrets, and we got a few more packs, actually more than a few. Okay, so come on, we're looking for that Starlight Rare. We're looking for that Starlight Rare card. Ooh, okay, we got the Wind Witch Chimes, okay. Either a Starlight Rare, you know, I kind of wish they would have put some Ultimate Rares in this set. Maybe like even just five cards. Um, but you know, there's always next time. Kunami, if you're listening, hint, hint. And then here we go. Ooh, a Fabled and, and Wraith. And Wraith. And Wraith. I'm still a little shocked that I pulled a Solemn Judgment from Metal Raiders. That's just epic. My brother, uh, my brother and I actually used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, when we were kids. And uh, he's gonna just go crazy when I tell him that I pulled a solemn judgment. He's gonna be like, what for real? I'm like, yeah. And there's the War Rock Gactos for our super. And then we'll just go ahead and place these nice little comments right here on the little pile. And here we go, box number two, almost done. Like I said, guys, we're just diving right in. We're gonna get through this, because that's what we do. And here we go. Ooh, Metal Foes Vanisher. The artwork on these cards is just incredible. Metaphos. Okay, so we got, put this right here. We got three Blazing Vortex packs left. Like I said, anything is possible. We can still pull that Starlight Rare. So we're just gonna go ahead and believe in the heart of the cards. And we're gonna go ahead and, we got the Sacred Tree Beast. This guy looks cool. Sacred Tree Beast. Two booster packs and two boxes left to go, and two more of the legendary booster packs. Okay, can we, can we, ooh, there's our ultra rare wind witch. I believe this is our second one, so I'm happy about that. Look at that, that's uh, four ultra rares and two secrets. I don't know if every box has that, but, I like me some ultras and I love me some secrets. And then this is it for our last pack. Can we get a Starlight Rare? Trishula, another pot of prosperity. We're gonna find out. Yu-Gi-Oh! Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, and it's a uh, box 
of these legendary packs. Like I said, I always want to save Metal Raiders for the end, but I'm gonna do something that we used to do back then to get lucky on the booster packs. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna flick Yugi. Come on, heart of the cards, guide me. And now you know what? I'm gonna smell because I didn't do that the first time, and I'm the kind of guy that likes to smell things. So. That smells pretty good. If you guys don't like to smell cardboard, we can't be friends. So here we go. Here we go. Checkmate. That's that's gotta be good. That's checkmate. Frozen soul. Rod of silence. I know I'm going super slow with these cards. For those of you that, get, that don't know, Shadow Knight Archfiend. Ooh, and we got a rare metalizing parasite. Yep, that's it. We got a rare for that one. Dice, reroll, Zoga. Ojama, we got the pink Ojama earlier. We got the green one this time. Look at him in his little red underwear. Ojama green, and then Fairy of the Spring. Okay. Man, those cards take me back. That's when those Guardian cards came out. And then now for our Metal Raiders. Open this up. Oh yeah. Let me just get a little I don't think it's the same smell from the from back then, but we still appreciate the smell. And then we're gonna turn it over. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this guy right here. And here we go, guys. Do you guys believe? Do you guys believe like I believe? Here we go. Armored zombie. Ooh, who remembers that episode? The little swordsman. Here we go, guys. Can it be? 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 And it's a rare, elegant egotist for Harpy Lady and her Harpy Lady sisters. Skull Knight, Insect Soldiers of the Sky, Jellyfish, and Swamp Battleguard. I believe this is Joey's card, Swamp Battleguard. So we struck out on those booster packs, but it doesn't matter because we got two more boxes and we still got another pack of the legendary pack, so we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in. And I'm gonna go ahead and place these cards right here. Just put them right there. And then here we go. Got the keys ready. Got the keys ready. Let's see, oh, there you go. There's a little plastic coming off. Oh, wow. It'd be nice to get a whole playset of the Pot of Prosperity card, but I believe we can pull a playset. If there's gonna be an extra secret rare, I believe we can go ahead and pull it. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Let me put this right here, bam. Actually, you know what? Let me put these right here. And then we put our supers right there. Because we still care about our supers. And then we'll just go ahead and open this up. So here we go. Here we go, here we go, come on, here we go, here we go. Ooh, there's Mahavelo again. Mahavelo don't play. There we go. Flip it over. Are you guys, who out here plays the game and who out here just likes the cartoon? There's our first dual avatar empowered Mitsu Jaku. That just sounds cool. Look at the artwork on that too. I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen this one. And there's our Ajama Pink. So that's our very first uh, Fusion Ultra, uh, this guy. We got another Fusion Ultra earlier, but I've never seen this one. So I'm gonna read the effect later on. And then we're just gonna go ahead and start pulling through these packs. Fast like a NASCAR. Let's go. S-Force, Fabled. Parametophiles, EMR, EMR. Okay, here we go. Nice booster. These packs are a lot easier to open than the Pokemon packs. That's definitely for sure. And here we go. Ooh, Win Witch Chimes. Okay, so we'll just put those right there. Play the Vortex. Okay, here we go. And then we got our Metaphils Vanisher for our Super. Gonna put this right here. Okay, here we go. Dogmatica, Giga Thunder, Marauding Captain, 
armor dragon ritual and then what's this oh this is a virtual world otohimi tutu whatever that means apparently virtual world was a virtual world is that supposed to be like a top deck i haven't really done any too much research about it but i did hear a little thing about them being a pretty good deck and ooh, we got a super rare the dream mirror tormentor as our super okay so we got two we got five more packs on the right side i don't know if they put one secret rare on each side or sometimes they put two on one side but we're still looking for that starlight rare card so here we go Ooh, we got our very first ultra rare greater polymerization this is actually a pretty good card so i like that for sure that's a win right there um someone is going to find a way to really make this card even better than what it already is and it might be me who knows i like fusions i used to play shadows if you guys know shadows i used to play shadows back in the day uh without the new support and oh a secret rare s4 rapa chiyu maru secret rare so apparently there is one secret rare on this side look at that Oof, i swear these secret rare cards are just there's something about secret rare cards that i like i don't know what it is mm. maybe it's just the way they shine shine on me oh look at that i got my girlfriend right here next to me supporting my my Yu-Gi-Oh addiction. <laughs> She's my camera girl. So here we go. Okay, bam, Steel Star, Spring is, and we got a War Rock Fortia. War Rock Fortia. We got two more packs on the right hand side before we start moving in to the left hand side. So we're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna do this in the quickness. Here we go. Ooh, Medi. Med Meti Materi Actor Gigaboros. I'm telling you guys, some of these names I just can't pronounce. So here we go. Last pack on the right hand side. Can we pull a Starlight in our third box? With our last pack on the right hand side. Can we do it? Can we do it? And we got a Parametaphos Assort Less. So we pulled two Ultras and one Secret on the right hand side. And now we gotta go through the left side. So we're gonna start from the end. Just open up these bad boys. I'm really hoping I get that pot or Trishula. And then I'm also waiting to get that Link monster. So Materiactor. Uh, I do believe that Link monster comes as two rarities, the Starlight rare and uh, Starlight rare and a secret rare. So we, let's go, here we go. Part of the cards. Part of the cards. Ooh, we got an ultra rare S Force Gravitino. He reminds me of Stratos. So that's that's a pretty cool card. I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve him up. Yeah, these S Force cards that um, came out in this set, actually, I believe they they might be com uh, competitively, but who really knows? Only time will tell. I'm actually waiting for this COVID-19 to actually stop already so I can go inside the shop and then Arm Dragon Thunder level three and then just see see who's still playing the game, you know? I used to go to locals every weekend uh, until I stopped, but I wanna see, you know, who, who's, who, who's still playing the game. So here we go. War Rock Gactos. Okay. So let's dive in. I know you guys want to see just as I want to see, so let's just get to it. Bam. And if I'm going a little too fast, you know what? It's not me. It's actually just the Red Bull. So we got Tri Brigade Kit. There we go. We're almost there. We're, we're so close to the last box. Let's get it. We got one secret rare so far. So here we go. Spring ins, S Force, Fairy Archer, Arm Dragon. And we got another Virtual World Super. Super. Um, so yeah, I used to play Shadows, like I said earlier, back then when Necroz was a thing and everybody was playing Necroz. Uh, but 
you know what? I never really thought Necros was a hard matchup, and we got Fabled. Um, it's just, once you know how to play the deck and you know its weaknesses, you can find ways to beat it. You know, no deck is unbeatable. Um, so, it just, it's all about the player who plays it and, you know, what kind of strategy you're using. So, you got Fabled, Spring Hands, Giga Thunder, and, 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 could it be, could it be, could it be? Ooh, we got our Link Monster Ultra Rare S4 Justify. We got Justify. Wow, that card looks incredible. Kind of reminds me of, uh... The movie Real Steel, if you guys ever seen it, Real Steel. I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve them up. So that's four ultras, one secret, and we got four packs left. So we got four packs. I'm gonna go ahead and put them right there. Here we go. It's time to duel, or it's time to open up some packs. Bam, let's get it. Boom, bam. Dual avatar, and we got another super uh, Zombie King or whatever the old name was. Ooh, this one feels kind of thick. This one feels kind of thick. Could there be a Starlight Rare in here? I'm calling it. This is it. A Starlight Rare is going to be in here. You guys ready? Here we go. Yu-Gi-Oh! Gods are with me right now. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Gods are with me. I'm telling you, it felt pretty thick. Oh, and it was just a Psychic Eraser Laser. <laughs> but it did feel thick though. You guys can see just to make sure. Okay, there wasn't no Starlight in Rare. Something about that pack. Maybe they just added in another Yu-Gi-Oh card. Who knows? I'm pretty sure they come with nine cards. Is it nine cards? Yeah, maybe that one had 10. But that felt thicky thick. Okay, let's turn this over. Here we go. Heavy Metal Foes. Pendulum Encore. Knight of Armor Dragon. And... Ooh, we got an S-Force Orifice. Okay, so we pulled four Ultras, one secret. This has to be the secret because there's two secrets in every single box. I swear, if I don't get a secret in here, I am gonna just lose it. Like, I swear I'm gonna lose it. So here we go. We don't know what secret it is, but we're about to find out. Three, two, Oh, and there it is, the Link Monster Secret Rare. This is the one that I was talking about. Look at the artwork on this. This is just incredible. Wow, I told you there was gonna be a secret. I knew it. And this was one of the secret rare cards that I wanted. Oh my God, that is just amazing. That is incredible. So we're gonna go ahead and sleeve that up. Wow, I am 100% I am happy on the pulls that we got. I am 100% happy on these pulls. So we're gonna go ahead and just place that to the side. And then, no, I didn't forget. We still got the Metal Raiders, Dark Crisis, Blister Box. So here's a fun fact. I went to Target and I honestly didn't even see the sign, but apparently they got a sign of three of these uh, per customer. And I'm over here grabbing 15 packs, trying to pick up all of them. And then the lady at the register was like, no, sir, you can't, you can't do that. I was like, what? So I ended up just picking up three, but I went back the next day and they still had them, thank God. And I convinced the lady. I convinced the lady to pick up three more packs for me. I know I should have convinced more people. I know, next time though. So here we go, what's our card? It's uh, Matriac Neftis. I can't pronounce that, somebody help me out. But that's gonna be okay so you know what <sighs> this time we're gonna go ahead and open up metal raiders first okay so here we go here we go metal raiders mirror force black school dragon change of heart i believe change of heart does come in here so we got our very first card block attack mushroom man hey shout out to the mushrooms punished eagle i used to play this guy in my ftk Guardian of the Labyrinth. Here we go. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? And it's a fake trap. Oh, we got faked by a trap. Wow, wow. And then we got a Thunder Dragon, Jirai Gummo, the Cheerful Coffin, and the Unhappy Mating. We're definitely unhappy about that. But we still pulled some pretty cool cards from the Blazing Vortex box. Now we're going to go ahead and open up this Dark Crisis and. The Yu-Gi-Oh cards are with us. Maji Garzette, Pandemonium. This is, I remember this card. Shooting Star, Bow Seal, 
Really, Eternal Wrath, and come on, Yu-Gi-Oh Gods, come on, come on, come on. And we got a contact, contract with the Abyss as our rare. Final attack orders, thousand needles, spell reproduction, Dark Scorpion, Gord the Strong. That's me whenever I go to the gym. <laughs> okay, so that was it for the legendary booster packs. And now here we go with our very last box, Blazing Vortex. We're not playing, we're going super fast. Here we go. Let's open up this bad boy. Can we get another pot of prosperity? Can we pull a starlight? in this last Blazing Vortex booster box. I believe that we can. There's no reason to doubt myself. So we're just gonna hop right in and start opening up these booster packs. So here we go, let's go guys, come on. What do you guys wanna see me pull? Comment below what you guys wanna see me pull. And if you guys liked what I, what I'm, this Yu-Gi-Oh content that I'm putting out right now, especially with these uh, legendary booster packs, you know, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the little notification so you guys know when I'm going to be posting videos. And yeah, just go ahead and share with your friends just so just so they can see. They can see all the madness. So here we go, Mr. Card Collector. Bam. Bam. Ooh, that's our third Wind Witch Diamond Bell. That's our third one. Our third Ultra for the Wind Witch. What do you guys think about the Wind Witch archetype? Do you think they can be a standalone deck? Um, or are they just better like to put as combo pieces with uh, other decks and just combine them? So we got Common, Neroy, Warrock. Oh, I thought that was a hollow. And then we got the Parametal Photos. Okay, so here we go. One Ultra down. Three more to go. Four more if we're lucky. So here we go, Knight of Armor Dragon, and we got a Materi Actor Giga Boros. Let's do this. Bam. Dual Avatar, Pendulum Encore, and then we got the Arm Dragon level five. We're still missing the level seven, and we're still missing the level 10. Uh, as the secret, this guy right here that's on the cover. So, um, I don't really know what the ratio on a whole case is. I did order a case like I mentioned earlier, uh, but I don't know what the ratio is. I guess everybody's is just different. I do know that there is two secrets in every box, so we're guaranteed two secrets in this box. What will they be? That one, I don't know. So here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, and it's the Dragoonity Knight Synchro. So that's it for the Synchros. Do you guys have a favorite Synchro monster? Do you guys have a favorite Synchro? I wanna say my favorite Synchro would probably have to be just off of the bat, probably Brianak uh, before his errata, just because of how broken he was. So here we go, and then we got the Ancient Warriors for our super. Put him over there. So Brianak was one of my favorites. Um, who else? Black Rose Dragon. I like the fact that there was a Synchro that can just blow up the whole field. Dogmatica, Parametaphos, S-Force, Neroy. And then we. this is our third Arm Dragon level 10 white for Ultra. So we're pulling the level 10 Arm Dragon, but we're not pulling the guy on the cover. At least not yet. But I have a feeling we're gonna pull them. So here we go, guys. Again, this pack right here is feeling a little thicky thick. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because of the way I'm grabbing it. So here we go. Here we go. My girlfriend's just watching. She's like, ah, what are you gonna pull? Ooh, and this is our first secret rare trap card, Underdog. During your opponent's turn, negate the effects of all face-up monster your opponent controls. During your opponent's turn, negate the effects of all face. This card is actually, I believe this card's gonna be used in the future. Uh, so I would recommend you pick up three of them because it is a permanent track card and you can just stop your opponent in his tracks from going off. He's gonna have to waste a, a mystical space typhoon or uh, whatever other spell and trap removal the game currently has. So. I'm gonna be picking up three of them. Just cause you never know. These cards, when they skyrocket, 
You know, you guys can save some money, just pick them up now. Linear Equation, War Rock, Giga Thunder, Armor, Dragon, and we got the Angel Statue. The Statue. Statue. Okay, two more packs on the right side. Here we go. We ain't playing. Let's do this. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Heavy Metal Foes, Para Metal Foes, Dual Avatar, Nero, and Arm Dragon Level 3. So that's our second Level 3, I believe. Again, we're not hitting the Level 7 and we're not getting the Level 10, but anything is possible. So here we go. Fabled. Parametal Foes, Pendulum, S-Force, and can we get a Starlight? Ooh, we got a giant, no, this is a Great Sand Sea Gold Gold Gonda as our super. So this is it, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out all these booster packs from the box, throw the box away, and then, and then, you know what? Because I'm feeling a little extra today, Okay, so I'm feeling a little extra today. I know I said I was only gonna open up three of these, but I got a fourth one. So anybody who's made it this long to the video, I will open up this pack right here. Wait for the end and you guys will see whether I, whether I pull another Ultra and another Super because like I said, anything is possible. Let's just go ahead and do this. Bam. Here we go, here we go. We're looking for that pot. We're looking for that starlight. Here we go. Got the Arm Dragon Thunder level five. Okay. Here we go. And we got the S-Force, Fable, Parametal Pose, Pendulum Encore, and we got the Mahawilo. We're almost done, guys. Hang in there. We can do this. Okay. Dual Avatar, Pendulum. And here we go, our very first fusion, Eldic, the Mad Golden Lord. This card looks incredible. Wow, look at that. I don't even know what he does, but I'm excited. Okay, and then there's nothing right there. Let me go ahead and sleeve up this bad boy. So that's gonna be our second secret rare Sleeve them up real quick. And then they, we're just gonna, hey, we can still pull. I seen a guy pull two secrets and one starlight rare in one box. That was just, that was just incredible. So here we go. And we got another ultra war rock, Basilios. We pulled him earlier, but it doesn't matter because we still want, we want all the ultras we can get. Let's go, let's get it. Yu-Gi-Oh time, let's go. So, Fable, okay, Giga Thunder, and then we got the Sacred Beast. I'm gonna have to look into that, see what, see what he does. Okay, here we go. We're just about done here, here we go. And we got the Virtual World, I believe that's our third one. So, we got our play set. Star Constellar. I believe that's our place it on the Constellar guy too. So that's okay. There's gotta be at least one more ultra in here. We've been seeing a ratio of four ultras per box. So here we go. Bam. Here we go. Bada bing. Bada boom materia actor. Okay. Three more packs and one. Metal Raider, Dark Crisis, Legendary Booster Packs. Ah, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, we got the Fabled and Wraith. Okay, now we're just down to our last two packs. Can we get a Starlight and an Ultra? It's possible. Arm Dragon, Ancient Warriors, Knight of Armor Dragon. And that's our Ultra Spring and Ship. X blow however you say that. Uh, okay. Let's leave this guy up. And then this is it, our last Blazing Vortex booster pack opening for today. Uh, thank you everybody who 
staying and saw me open up these packs, um, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe. Subscribe to Mr. Card Collector for more openings. And hit the notification bell if you, that way you can go ahead and get notified when I'm gonna be doing more openings. I'm gonna put these right here and then just open up this Metal Raiders. For some reason, this one don't wanna open up. But we got our keys. So this is it. Metal Raiders, Dark Crisis, opening, and the bonus card. So come on, bonus. This is, uh, oh, we got this one earlier. The Nephthys girl. She's still cool though. So here we go. Got the last two. Metal Raiders, Dark Crisis. Can we pull a secret rare? Can we pull a secret rare? If I pull a secret rare or even an Exodia Necroz, like I'm one happy camper. So we're gonna go a little slow with these. Shadow Knight, Archfiend, Kelbeck. Non spellcasting area. Archfiend's Oath. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Ooh, and it's Skill Drain. Oh, wow, Skill Drain. Everybody knows what Skill Drain does. It's not a hollow, but it's definitely a good card. Ojama Green, a little Wing Guard, and another Archfiend. So. Nothing really too exciting on the Dark Crisis, Dark Crisis Booster Pack, but we have our last Metal Raiders, Black Skull Dragon, Gate Guardian, Heavy Storm, okay, Gaia the Dragon Champion, Secret Rare, Mirror Force, so here we go, Leo Gun, Barrel Imp, Yadu Karu. Okay, Yaru Karu. Dragon Piper, here we go, guys. We're gonna go ahead and believe in the heart of the cards. Okay, here we go. It's possible, it's possible, it's possible. Ooh, and another elegant ego test. <laughs> wow. Man, someone really wants to play with Harpy Lady Sisters. Paralyzing Potion, Big Curry Box, Ryukishin Powered, Ring of Magnetism. And that's gonna be all for our booster, our booster's opening. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do a quick recap on everything that we pulled today. So this is from the last box, okay? And then we went ahead and just, this is what we, what we pulled from the third box. Like I said, I'm very happy with everything that I pulled. Um, I don't know if this is from the, this is from the last box. So that's gonna be just about everything. And then I probably went in the wrong order, but just showing you guys everything that we got today. And then of course, our very first hollow, the Pot of Prosperity.